two times with the 45. Haters, they gon' hate all the time. They hate to see me. What's going on, YouTube? Just making a quick little video um, about this Nathaniel Woods situation in Alabama. Now, the facts came out uh, as far as this man did not kill anybody. He didn't know it was about to go down. He didn't know what was happening. All he knows is they were serving a warrant I suppose, and he was in the house with a with, with with a cat that flipped out when the police came in and killed three cops, three white officers. Okay. Now here's my thing. All right. Had it been any other state, you know, besides a state in the South, the man probably would have lived. But because it's Alabama, and and Alabama is very known for being racist uh, as a truck driver out and rode all over Alabama and that confederate flag is all over the state I done been to all parts of Alabama north, south, east, west, central you know you may not see that uh, confederate flag in probably Birmingham or Montgomery but all them little towns to the side all them little side towns and everything uh, I-65 I-20 that Confederate flag is alive and well, okay? So Alabama is really known for being real racist. Still one of them states in the South, you know? Georgia, North Georgia in particular, you see that Confederate flag everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You know, Mississippi, Louisiana, Florida, states is racist as hell, man, okay? It's 2020, and they still feel inferior to the black man. And they do everything that they can to put the black man out of commission. They wish they could eradicate. See, they love our black women. They love our voluptuous, big booty black women, but they don't like us. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they want to do everything in the world to eradicate the black man, all right? Now, if it's proven that this man did not pull the trigger to kill them three police officers. Why y'all killed him? It's bad enough he had to be in prison, okay? It's bad enough he had to be in prison. He could have, you know, worst case scenario, served life in prison. The man did not pull the trigger. Do you think that they tried to do an about face and say, uh, okay, he didn't pull the trigger, we're not going to kill him? Uh, let's look at the facts of the case and everything. You know, it's bad enough black people kill black people, you know, but it's, it's, it's even worse that the white man would do everything possible to lock the black man up. If it, it don't matter that they killing the wrong man, as long as somebody locked up for it and as long as somebody get executed for it. This is a sad situation in our country, man. And it, and it keep repeating itself. This is the stuff that Colin Kaepernick was kneeling about. This is the stuff that Colin Kaepernick was kneeling about. You know what I'm saying? Yet, he taking a stance for black people, yet he can't get a job nowhere in the NFL. Not doing nothing. As good as an athlete he was. You know? This is uh this is crazy and it's really sad. That was a sad the day Nathan Woods execution uh took place just reminded black folks in America where we stand with this country. This is sad. This is a very, very sad situation in our history. In Alabama, you know, I, I call for a boycott on anything Alabama. Because this, this this is sad. You're not you're not supposed to support no teams or no nothing in Alabama that can just sit up there and take a man a innocent man life. It's bad enough when you got them locked up in prison. You got them innocently locked up in prison, but you gonna take his life and the facts clearly stated. 
even the DA was like, well, we know we didn't kill him, but you know, that's the law. Why isn't it things in place where they can do an about face? I'm going to give you another example, something that's closer to me. Uh, C. Murder, Corey Miller, all right? And McKinley Phillips, all right? In both of those cases, the evidence showed that them men couldn't have did what they said that they done. And, and, and it was even more solidified when the two star witnesses in Corey Miller case came forward and said that the police coerced them. We know how Louisiana is. We know how dirty Louisiana play. That's the reason why I came to Georgia as a teenager, because they tried to throw away the key on me. Soon as I got cut loose, I was gone. I was out of there. But my thing is, man, if the two key witnesses come forward and say that they was coerced, why y'all still got this man locked up? Why do y'all still have Corey Miller locked up? Why is nobody on the forefront front jumping up and down protesting, you know, the, the, the Louisiana court system, the federal system, habeas corpus, any damn thing? Why is this man still locked up? Why do he have life without parole? Why is it that you cannot retry the case? If the two star witnesses said that he wasn't the trigger man, they was coerced by police, why y'all just can't go to trial again and retry the case? And let's see what the outcome be once you retry the case. And the star witnesses then took their they testimony back, lying on this man because they was pressured. This is sad. Our judicial system is sad and screwed up. And they always want to talk about, well, America is the best country in the world. America is the best uh, nation in the world. We the fairest. Uh, our system is this and that. Man, you run the judicial system like communists, like some, like, like some communists, like y'all in China. Some damn well. This judicial system is messed up. This judicial, judicial system is messed up where people get 30 and 40 years of their life for nothing. For nothing. A lot of times. Now, a lot of times, you know, a lot of times people deserve the time that they get. When I went to prison, I deserved that. I deserved the time that I got. You know, but what am I doing now? What am I doing today? You know what I'm saying? It's all about change. People change. Nobody stays the same. Well, most people don't stay the same. The, the smart ones get it. You know, sometimes people go through stuff in life and it, 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 and, and it takes them a little bit longer to get it. But when you get it, you got it. So we live in a, a society that like to hold things over your head. All right. If God forgives, everybody else should forgive. Stop holding on to stuff. You know, but that was just my little rant, man. My little random thoughts, you know, uh, I'm one of the ones on the front line saying retry Corey Miller, you know, retry other cases, change this system to where if if some new evidence comes up, I don't care if the new evidence is 20 years later, go back to trial and try it again. If some DNA evidence can come up and free people, why new evidence uh, and testimony can't just come back 25 years later and free somebody? Why? This needs to be changed on the state and the federal level. It's a lot of innocent people sitting behind bars. We need to get those people out of the joint. All right. This has been another production. This is my little quick rant.
Let's go. Let's change this system, man. Somebody give me a platform. I got a lot to talk about. You know, this is just a rant, but uh, you know, I got a lot to talk about a lot about a lot of a lot a lot of uh situations, man. You know, a lot of things that uh that can be changed. But I need help on the platform. I ain't asking nobody for nothing but to give me a platform. I done reached out to a few rappers and a few entertainers. Hey, you can't hear me now, but you'll hear me in a minute. Yeah, and continuing this uh, video, I got a lot to talk about. You know, somebody gonna hear me. My book gonna be released. It's one more thing. It's one more thing that I, 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 I got going on that I'm just trying to wait. Next Wednesday, Wednesday the 18th, uh, is a big day for me in that book moving forward. All right. Soon as this one more thing happens, that book coming out. And that voice gonna be heard. Y'all gonna hear me. I'm gonna build my own platform since I can't get none of these entertainers to help me. You know, and I'm gonna show y'all what uh when you get a lot of money. I'm going to show you what you're supposed to do with that money. You're supposed to fight for people. You're supposed to reach back and fight for people. And, and fight for injustices and everything. That's what need to be done. You need to fight for people's injustices and people's, you know, people getting done wrong and stuff like that. Make a voice. Create conversations. You know, make these people hear us, man. These laws need to change. On a very serious note, these laws need to be changed. Because they are just take that they are designed, all right, to take the black man off the street and make no two ways about it, all right. We as black people need to stop breaking the law, stop it, okay. A lot of this stuff that 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 be getting done, uh, you know, with these robberies and these shooting people and killing people and taking people's lives, you cannot complain about the just justice system when you're not doing your part your part is stop breaking the law okay i'm a person that 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 went from broke to you know making a lot of money to back to making you know below average money but you think i'm gonna start breaking the law again nah i'm not i'm not doing that i'm a i'm a i'm a continue to work and do the stuff that I'm supposed to do because I know if I if I'd have made six figures a year before I make it again and even more than that. I just got to come back with my uh my plan. But you know, as black people, we cannot expect them to have mercy on us. Stop giving them folks gun uh bullets to put in their gun to bust at your ass. Alright? Stop breaking the law. Stop breaking into people's houses. Stop shooting people. Stop robbing people. You know, stop doing this stuff, man. This is this is the reason why they are able to give you a hundred years. You know what I'm saying? When you get them hundred years, then you want to sit down. You want to read the Quran. You want to read the Bible. You want to make your baby mama all kind of promises about what you're gonna do when you get out and how good and and everything. You don't have to do that. You can stop, sit down, go to school, ask people, you know, for certain directions. But, hey, it's a part of this society that don't give a fuck about what I'm saying. They don't give a fuck about any message that can come out. They don't care about life. And when you don't love yourself, you cannot love nobody else. They don't care about nothing. And those are the people that need to be locked up for a very long time until they get it. Those are the people that need 30 and 40 years because they don't give a fuck about anything or anybody but they self. And we have to stop. All right? Black people, change, man. Change, man. Let's start by changing ourselves. Change within so we can change what's around us because these laws is messed up and they designed to take you off the street. It's a war going on. Wake up.